Well, one thing that I really learned is, you know, I grew up in a town of 500 people on a farm in Iowa, and you really have to maximize your opportunities. And I think that if I've done one thing fairly well is when an opportunity presents itself, I've taken advantage and extracted everything out of that opportunity. I see so many world-class ideas coming out of New Zealand. I really want New Zealand entrepreneurs and business people to start to think a little bit beyond their borders, to take advantage of the global opportunities and really take those ideas to the next level. Craig Elliott knows how to spin an opportunity into billions. In Silicon Valley, he's a star, and there's lots of those, but not so many who devote themselves to showing Kiwis how to do what they've done. Back in 84, Craig was just trying to fund a career down on the farm in animal science. Then he stumbled into a revolution and seized the high ground. So there was a local computer company said, hey, this is a perfect year for you to come work with us. You can make some cash and then go back to graduate school. And that was the year the Macintosh came out. So it turned out that I was very lucky and I was the top selling person in the United States. I sold more Macintoshes than anyone else. So my first trip to California was to have dinner with Steve Jobs. Apple gave him a Porsche and a job. And Craig took the fast lane into management. Then he fell for Wanaka. So much so that when he was asked to run a company that had figured out how to better manage traffic on computer networks, he said he had a new job in New Zealand. They said they had a way for him to retire to New Zealand quite early. Well, at Packetier, we started with three of us, you know, in a, in a small little room in the back of a radiator shop. And we started building these products and we were able to take that, raise money, go all the way through. And in fact, we did an IPO, an initial public offering, where the value of Packetier was about $2 billion when we were done. Craig duly retired to our better fishing spots until he was asked to run a new outfit called Pertino that would vaporize the computer network as we know it. We said, why build those specialized computers in those network boxes? Let's put it all in the cloud. So we've been able to do that. So now what historically has taken a large amount of money, a large amount of hardware and complex configuration, we can set up a global, highly secure network in three clicks in less than a minute anywhere in the world. Craig had to part with the Porsche. It was attracting speeding tickets. But as he drives his new projects forward, he's taken New Zealand firms with him. He's one of the founders of Kiwi Landing Pad, a soft landing in Silicon Valley offering Kiwis everything from a desk to an introduction. And he gives our students the chance to intern there and build their own network of global contacts. The engineering skills and entrepreneurship you know, that I've seen in New Zealand is, is world class. You know, I'm on the board of Zero, and one of the things some people in Silicon Valley had asked me is, why are you on the board of a New Zealand company? I quickly responded that I'm not on the board of a New Zealand company. I'm on the board of a world-class technology company. It happens to be in New Zealand.